This video was made possible by EA Game Changers. Hello, this is Diana, also known as Angeersenaam and Sims, and welcome to my first video on Eco Lifestyle. Um, and uh, thank you EA Games for allowing me early access and game, the Game Changer program. Uh, I really appreciate it, and I'm very happy to, you know, that we that we have this pack now. Um, but to be honest, I actually wanted to do a whole bunch of other videos, but as many of you probably know, is that the latest patch kind of messed up. Um, the loading of, of people's saves and unfortunately two of my most important saves um, crash my game. I can't load them. Which is quite sad because it has all my new builds and it has um, the sims of all my main um, last plays. Um, so I wanted to wanted to immediately start a huge big last play with Ayoka and, and, and a whole bunch of people that you uh, will have seen if you're familiar with my last plays. But for now, they are all lost. Um, they're fixing the problem, at least trying to. So I hope they can. Otherwise, um, yeah, well, we'll see what happens. But I'm, I'm, I'm just, you know, fingers crossed that they'll be able to fix it. But it, it did definitely throw me off. And um, I've had to come up with something else to show you. And I think I have a... Uh, I think I have a good idea. Um, <laughs> here you see um, Evergreen Harbour. And I haven't really changed anything. I did place my new lots and you might wonder how I got my lots well my very dear friend Krint actually she, um, her boyfriend managed to load my um, save game that I wasn't able to load into his game he hadn't done the patch yet so he was able then to get those new builds that I've been working on but I still can't upload them because now they have Krint's name on them and not mine and I just refuse to upload a build that, that does not have my name on it so I can't really show you anything I haven't upgraded them with the new pack so they are here so you have like a little little preview of them but they're not really what they're supposed to be <laughs> but I was very curious about the community lot and um, that's actually what all this video is about I'm sorry for rambling but I just needed to get this off my chest because um, yeah I, I just did <laughs> anyway let's go to the community space okay the first thing you might notice is that my community space is on a different lot the original one where you have the game is on this lot but this will be Ayoka's house Ayoka deserves a big house so this will be Ayoka's house and again I'll show you this lot later but you know sneak peek that's it <laughs> um, but I, I wanted a uh, because I wanted Ayoka to have like a bigger house I had to turn one of the 30 by 20 um, lots into a community lot and I didn't really know how that worked but I have found out how it works basically what you have to do you you have to go to lot type and then you can choose all these different things right you can just select community space um, and then you basically start creating a lot for each of the different options so if the people vote for this to be just nothing just a community space that's dirty then it might look like this and this is just a very quick build, but I kind of like it. It's kind of dirty and whatnot. Um, in Ayoka's case, it would probably be a community god. And apparently this is already a community garden. I don't know why, but it's active as a community garden because, um, because of the active community space project. I haven't even played, but apparently the space project is community garden. So if you if this becomes... If people vote for this to become a community garden, then gradually, over time, I think it takes about a Sims week, this lot will change. And when it's done, this particular lot, I will just quickly build it, will look like this. Oh wait, hang on, I'll have it be um, um, afternoon. So what I do with this lot is, um, there are a few requirements, so that, that actually works the same as other um, um, lots. So you have to, you know, every lot has to remit. It uh, has to meet certain requirements and then there are some optional things that you can add. I just add a whole bunch of uh, planters because I really like them. I added these new rain collectors, dew collectors. I added these 
uh, bug farms <laughs> because I just really like them. I can't wait to, to actually see the, the bugs live in action. I haven't really seen them yet. And this little thing here is now... Wait, let's just go down. Actually, just a toilet. So we've got four toilets here. This is just like a public bathroom kind of thing with all kinds of new stuff from the pack. I'm not going to go too much into uh, what's new in the pack. There are plenty of videos about that uh, uh, on the new stuff out there already. I just want to, you know, focus on the community lot types. So this, if, if uh, Ayoka and her friends manage to get this to uh, get the vote... Um, oh, sorry, to get people to vote for the community garden, then this is what it would look like. If it doesn't work and people vote for marketplace, then... Ta-da! Hang on, hang on, hang on. <laughs> then this is what it will look like. It's it's very similar. I didn't want to change too much because I want the the I wanted the 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 base to be the same basically. For the for the marketplace, you need to have the same things, toilets and whatnot. I need to have at least three sale tables and uh, the market stall and picnic tables are optional. But I think I figured if you have like a market stall, then you need picnic tables right and I added um, chess tables as well because I always want my sims to be able to do all kinds of stuff and under the roofs here you have full market tables so people can come in and sell the stuff or buy stuff the toilet has not changed I haven't changed anything else but the function of the pack and what's where basically well I changed things around a little bit but not too much because I just want um, whatever the people uh, vote for. I wanted to sort of match with all the other buildings that will be in here. And again, I will not show you those yet. <laughs> I'm just mean. Okay, if they don't vote for the marketplace, but for the maker space, then hang on, hang on, building a lot. It will look like this. Again, it's very similar, but this time, um, oh wait, I'll turn off the grid. This, ha these, Things have actually turned into little buildings because I figure, you know, I, I, I don't think it's a good idea for all these machines to become wet. So, um, but the main um, layout is, is still the same. The toilet is still the same. Um, oh, actually, in, in the, in the um, community garden, these planters are actually the ones that you could actually plant stuff in. In the marketplace and maker space, I changed those for these. So actually, I forgot to do something. These actually have to go here. Hang on, hang on. Okay, well, just a small minor detail, but I just noticed it. So yeah, mm -hmm. okay. I'll, I'll change that when I upload them. So um, again, you have a picnic table. This time I added a barbecue, so they can also have something to eat. I can imagine if you're, I, I didn't actually add one of those, those food thingies um, because that was actually quite big for this lot but I figured you know if, if you're working very hard on creating stuff you might get hungry at least you can get grab something to eat you can use the toilet and whatnot uh, and this part of the building this building you have the new machines you have um, the home recycler uh, what's this this is the fabricator and this is the um, candle make table so you, you can do some of the new stuff here. And here we have the fizz maker, uh, the juice fizzer, sorry. Um, and some stuff for kids as well. We have the woodworking table because that's one of the options. And I just wanted all the options to be there. I added two of these things for the, for the kids. Those two, um, hang on, kids activity tables. And this thing as well. Because I just thought it was fun. You know, kids can also just do experiments here. Not all kids will have this at home. So here they can come and experiment. And I added an easel. So this is basically the what the three different lots will actually look like. Um, I also want to show you how you can actually upload this um, and put it somewhere else. And that's actually a bit more tricky. Actually, uploading is not so difficult. You just basically upload each and every one, each of all these lots, the same way you upload a regular lot. And they all have the same name, but the gallery doesn't uh, remember it as a... Uh, doesn't think it's the same lot, because obviously you've got different stuff in it. So it, it looks like this. I have four lots called Let's Come Together. Um, let's go to a new world, and I'll show you how to put a how to turn a um, any lot into a community space 
Okay, here we are in Willow Creek and it's um, just a residential lot for now. It's, it's already called this because I tested it earlier. <laughs> um, but what you basically have to do, you just go to community space. So then you just get all the different uh, community space options with the requirements. But if you already have lots here, then all you have to do is basically build them. And I'll just show this so now you have the community space okay we want the community garden it will first show you the same one that you put down first uh wait 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 which is the garden this is the garden so then i can just uh, quickly build the garden downside of all of this is that uh, because i don't you can't really give them different names well maybe Probably, actually, probably you probably can in the description. Of course you can. Sorry, I didn't think of that. So in the description, if I upload this, I'll tell you which one of the spaces it is so you don't make any mistakes. So then you put this one here. None of them are active now. And then you have like a marketplace. And if I also want the maker place, and first it's going to change that, it's going to give you different requirements. And if I then go to my library again, I can just place it. So basically, you'll need to download four different lots to create a community space. But it is really that simple. So it's really easy. And um, I will upload these um, later on. And I will make sure I add the descriptions. But this is how you build, upload and download a uh, community space. And how you can change any lot um into a community space you can obviously also also use other lots if you go for instance to the to one of those bigger park spaces 50 by 50 you know you 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 can obviously download parks that already uh are 50 by 50 you, you'll you know you, you can use those as gardens or whatever so that the options are actually limitless you can do whatever you want and you can turn any lot into a community space which i think is very very nice only thing is that you need four different lots for just one lot that makes sense right okay um that was it a very short video on how to work with community spaces i hope you found it useful and um i hope i can get my old saves back and then i can finally start my let's play and finish my other bills because that's actually also what i want to do but for now i think i um you know, I think I, I helped a few people, hopefully. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching and until next time. Bye.